Turn through my history and you will see me standing there in the middle of my apartment senior year staring at a dog covered in masking tape. Now I have to back up to the summer before my senior year when I got a puppy. This puppy. Can you see him? They spelled Sergeant wrong. Anyway, this is Kuma. So I get him the summer before my senior year. I cannot take Kuma with me right away because he needs to have his six-month shots, and so I leave him at home for a couple months and go get settled in my little apartment. Flash forward to October, November, and I can finally bring Kuma to stay with me. Now, there are slight complications, like the fact that my landlord doesn't know that I'm going to be bringing a dog there. And there's like a $300 extra fee to have a dog. And I am like not that flush with cash. So I think Kuma's a very well-behaved dog. I just won't let the landlord find out that I have a 60-pound dog staying in my apartment. So Kuma arrives. Kuma is the most magnificently neurotic dog in the entire world. Like, we joke that a piece of my soul broke off and made a canine. But it's cool. I'm excited. I bring him up, and I have to go to class. And I am leaving him alone for the very first time in the office of my apartment. It is gorgeous. It's got the exposed brick walls. It's got the full bank of windows, and it is huge. So it is more than enough room to leave him alone for a few hours. But I'm a little nervous because my landlord obviously doesn't know about the dog, and so I get masking tape and I cover the door on his side of the door with masking tape because Kuma, I know, in the past has like scratched a little bit when he wants to get out, and I'm like, I am not having him scratch the entire door. So I just coat it in masking tape, and I go to class. And it's like two hours into class, and I'm like, you know, I should run home and check on Kuma. I walk, I like power walk on my lunch break, I like get up the stairs, I go in to check on Kuma, and I open the door, and Kuma is sitting in the middle of the office. He is a ball of masking tape. Like, he has taped himself to himself. He has like one paw, like taped across his chest to his other paw. His tail is like taped to one of his legs, and he is just sitting there in the middle of the room. He had started to scratch, I guess, at the door, and the masking tape had started to come away, and as he had continued to scratch, and the masking tape, it had just, it had encapsulated him, and I have never, of course, felt like a worse puppy parent in the entire world, but I will never forget walking into my office that first day I left Kuma alone, and just seeing him standing there. It was 60 pounds of masking tape. And he was like trying to wag his tail because he was seeing me and his tail was stuck to his leg with masking tape. So it was just kind of this like little movement back and forth. <laughs>